Great Kimble, like its neighbour, Little Kimble, is just south of Aylesbury, and both are within hailing distance of Beacon Hill, the location of the castle of Kimberleen, the first century King of Britain, and also Chequers, the country home of present-day British Prime Ministers. The church started as a simple low-roofed nave, 12th century, to which the north and south aisles were added in 1250. The clerestory and the tower, and a small chancel, were added in the 14th century. The nave was rebuilt in the 16th century. And in the nave, we can see what is regarded as one of the best Aylesbury-type fonts. In the 1300s, the church and manor belonged to the Abbey of Missenden. In the 1500s, the church and village passed into the ownership of the Hampden family. At the east end, to the south of the chancel, we have the Lady Chapel. On the floor of the chancel, you may like to see these tiles. To the north of the chancel, a vestry. In 1637, John Hampden refused to pay 20 shillings in ship money, because King Charles had not got parliamentary agreement to levy the tax. In fact, Hampden announced his intentions in a public protest meeting held in this church. The sign we saw outside the church relates to this. And this ship money business can be described as a trigger which caused Parliament and Crown to line up against each other and eventually to take up arms in the English Civil War. Apart from a few pieces high in the east window, all the glass is Victorian or modern. In late Victorian times the building was comprehensively restored, which no doubt improved its uniformity of style. This, together with the building material and the battlements, reminds me of Dring Parish Church. Also during those major works, in late Victorian times the front vestry, the Lady Chapel and the porch were added to the building.